Let's go next to uh, let's go to Nick from Long Island. Nick, welcome. Hey, David. Um, so my question is, is um, do you think that so we had primaries last night? We had John Fetterman win the Pennsylvania primary, and um, it's looking like conservative Democrat Kurt Schrader is going to lose his primary to a more left leaning candidate. I was wondering, because I've heard many on the left say that progressive candidates have a better chance of winning the general election. Do you agree with that? Or do you think that more moderate candidates have better chances of winning? There's no one answer for that. So, for example, in West Virginia, if a more progressive Democrat manages to successfully primary Joe Manchin, that progressive Democrat almost certainly loses the election in West Virginia and we get a Republican senator in a place like Pennsylvania. I think a more progressive Democrat is far more likely to do well in the general. So there's no one answer. What in order to say who is likely to do better, you first have to answer the question, well, who's in the electorate? Are we talking about nationally? Are we talking about a particular congressional district or a state? Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, well, doesn't it like depend on what policies are popular in the state we're talking about? That's right. It, so so to say are progressives likely to do better? The question is, well, who are the voters and what do they want? Yeah. Um, so it's not like it's not like a black and white thing. No, because, not at all. Not at all. Because, I mean, you know, there are there are there are seats where a centrist Democrat is as left as would be able to win. There are other seats like, for example, AOC's district. AOC replaced a longtime incumbent. She would she's well to his left because the electorate lined up with her views. Does you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's that's like a safe seat. That's a safe Democratic seat. I'm talking about like and mainly swing uh, swing districts. Well, it depends on the specifics of the district is what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, yeah, and I wanted to point that out because I heard uh, from Dave Wasserman on Twitter mm-hmm. saying that the Cook political report will change Oregon's fifth district to a toss up race if Kurt Schrader loses his primary to a more. I forgot the, the person's name, but yeah. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate the call. Yeah, not one answer. That's a it's a great question. It's a complicated question as well. One of our sponsors is Magic Spoon, the only breakfast cereal that tastes exactly like your favorite sugary childhood cereals, but with zero sugar, only four net carbs and 14 grams of protein. So if you're just generally trying to keep your sugar intake relatively low like me or if you're doing low carb, if you're doing keto, you can enjoy the sweet, nostalgic snack without the sugar in flavors like cocoa, fruity, frosted peanut butter, cookies and cream, maple waffle, blueberry, cinnamon. They've just added honey nut to their permanent collection. I love Magic Spoon. Our whole team does, and they've been supporting the show for years. How about this? If you try Magic Spoon and you don't think it's amazing like we do, they'll give you your money back because Magic Spoon stands behind their product because it's that good. You really can't tell it apart from the classic cereals. Build your own custom variety pack. You'll get five dollars off when you go to magicspoon.com slash Pacman and use the promo code Pacman. The link is in the description. 